Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is not a video about editing, this is a video about watching the videos. And it's simply to say, if you don't already do so, using the keys to control it can be a lot easier and quicker if you've got a keyboard and when you're watching it. So, first thing, if we want to start playing, we can click down here on play, or you can click on the middle of the screen, or use the spacebar. If you're playing and it's interrupting, you want it to be quiet, then you can click down here for mute, but you can also use the M key, and M will make that there mute. So now we play it, and the video is running, and there's no sound to interrupt us. So one of the other keys you could use, one more key to make it start and stop, is the K key, the letter K. And you can see there the play and stop is going there, but why K? And the answer is because if you want to skip forwards, next to the K uh, is the L key. And L, if you watch this here, is going to jump forwards 10 seconds at a time. See, it says there 10 seconds. And then the J key will take you back 10 seconds at a time, which is really good for looking forward and just hunting through the video. Another way of getting through the video is use the number keys. So one will take you to 10%, two, 20%, three, 30%, and so on. And then naught will take you back to the beginning. You can also use end to get to the end and the home key to take you to the beginning. But the home key will actually start running the video. If you see this here, don't worry, it will catch up in its own time. Because I'm sort of moving it around the place. So what else is there? Oh yes, volume. Let's put the, the this back on again with the M key, ding, in which you create, first of all, a But if the volume is a little bit on the low, I can use the up arrow across the whole image. And there it sets the which is it held volume. selections. And, and then you just bring the volume down. Use those and just to bring this direct the down again. Adjustments that you and make. And always mute with them. The other thing that I use a lot of is the greater than and less than. So if I shift greater than, what you're going to see is a speed increase here. So watch, it, it, there's a note in here and up here. So greater than, see it goes upwards to two, then back down again. Normally you do that through the settings and here the, it says normal, so you can make it go faster and slower, which is great. If I'm talking too fast for you, just slow me down. I, I can go slower there. So. It's like going up and down here, so you can make me go really slow and so on. And uh, one more note here, if the quality is a little bit, it's like you can't read things, then go to here and go to the quality here. There's no keystroke for this. And if you go to 1080, then it will be sharper if the, your resolution on your uh, monitor will allow for it. I record on a 1920 monitor, which if you put on full screen, letter F, you can see everything you should be able to read that as well as I do when I record it. Anyway, that's it and I hope that was useful and thank you very much for watching.